Karen Stafford with Dr. Stafford's Musical Cures. I hope this video is finding everybody well. Most of you are finishing up the school year as it is, which was probably very frustrating. You had to turn to digital learning and a lot of you haven't used digital products or you might have used very few digital products. I'm here today to show you one digital product that I honestly didn't know about when I was teaching, but have discovered in the past year or so and played around with it and really love it. And I think your kids would love it too. And they're called Boom Cards. Boom Cards are interactive. Boom Cards can work with Google Classroom or Seesaw. And Boom Cards have their own place where you could buy them or you can buy them on Teachers Pay Teachers. Let me show you a little bit about when, what Boom Cards are all about. It's right up here. So this is the home page where students or teachers or makers can log in. It says these Boom Cards are self-grading and they provide data for you. If you choose one that's called Fast Play for your students, which you can, that does not keep data, but it does not require a login. The regular games and the regular way to set up does require a login. So let's see exactly what's on the teacher side of things. Gives you a little bit of an idea of how to sign in. and how to set up your classroom. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in as a teacher. And I'm using an email or username, but if you're a Google school, you might wanna go ahead and sign in with Google, especially if your students are using Chromebooks and want that connected. I use my email. And here is my classroom. It has my account information, my, my membership information, and here's a place where I could either set up a classroom or I can import a Google Classroom, which is for another video. I set up two trial classrooms, but in order to set up a classroom, you would just click here, add students, and then go back. So it automatically gave me a classroom three. I could leave that if I wanted to. And it said not follow directions. I have found out that sometimes teachers are the worst at following directions. So now I've deleted that extra classroom and I'm gonna to go to the one that I set up. And I set up a student named Joe. This is Joe's username, Joe587. This is going to get him in. I can also set up passwords for everybody. You can set up picture passwords, reset passwords, and each student then will have their own password in order to log in to Boom. Here you can see the assignments I gave Joe. I gave him one that's called Pitches on the Staff Sampler, which I'm gonna show in a minute. And then the reports. I pick a deck that he's done before. And there's the report, how long it took him. Joe dropped out, he, he didn't finish it. This explains the progress that he had. So right now, I'm gonna go back to the class, or I'm sorry, to Joe. There's a drop down here where you could get the report. You can change his individual password. He can get an individual assignment. You can assign the whole class a card. And there it is. 
or you can assign just to Joe. back here and find Joe, click on the drop down. And here I can assign Joe something. So you might have a deck that's a little bit more advanced. Maybe Joe is a higher achiever or Joe is in the gifted program assign one of these it's a little bit more challenging if you have students with special needs you can assign one that's a little bit different better equipped to meet his needs so now i'm going to show you what it's going to look like from joe's vantage point so i'm going to lock myself out here or close myself out and i'm going to go in as a student. And I'm going to sign in with Boom. There's that username that he was assigned. Here's the password I assigned for him. And there you see his assignments. So he's going to click on one. He's a newbie in cards. He hasn't advanced very much. And he's with the Greeny Ducks. So you can see it's even like a video arcade game where they have different levels and different incentives for them to continue. So we're going to try this pitches on the staff sampler. And I'm going to pretend I'm Joe. So this one, he has to click and drag. So he clicks this one and drag and he submits it. It tells him he's not correct. Let's try another one. And he got it. Oh, now he's got to do patterns because you know, basically when you're learning pitches, they shouldn't learn them one at a time. They're going to be using them to play. They need to know the lines and spaces and the intervals. So sometimes it's really good to throw in something that's in a pattern. So look, that could be F, G, E, F, as it starts with an F. This is where you can tell whether the child is just looking at the first letter or if he's looking at it completely or she's looking at it completely. I think it's this one. Tells me I'm wrong. And I'm right, and for some reason it didn't ding. But now, I've got to spell a word. So I'm going to spell I can't go on. Let's try. I think I had a delayed reaction from the other. Yay, well done. You finished with zero correct and four incorrect. Oops, I didn't do so well. I'm going to go back again. I'm going to choose the correct pin. Yay, me. And let's do these all right and see what happens. Hmm. Yay. Now I've got 103 points and three lightning bolts. And go back to home. And it shows my progress. Within this blog or within my blog, I do have some links in my blog post about boom cards to a few boom cards. There are boom cards where you can go to boom itself to the store, <clears throat> excuse me, and get some. Boom runs on points. So basically, 200 points is approximately $2, give or take. Or you can go to Teachers Pay Teachers, and there are many boom cards. There are several music teachers who do boom cards. 
And all you would have to do is put in boom cards in the search and then click music to find those. Oh, I almost forgot. There's a contest coming up. I know the teachers are scrambling to figure out how their new school setup might look like in the fall. Nobody knows. So this is also going to be in my blog and on my Facebook page, Dr. Stafford's Musical Cures. But you will be entered in a drawing. If you sign up for my newsletter and that would give you one chance at a free set of boom cards for me. To double your chances, I also want you to submit one idea you have for how you're going to do distance teaching or adapt your classroom in the fall. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you sign up for my newsletter, you will get a link to a free set of boom cards. If you submit your ideas for how your classroom might look in the fall, your name is going to be put in a drawing for a $20 Amazon gift certificate. The deadline is June 1st. So you have just a little bit more than a week because today is the 22nd. You have a little bit more than a week to get this accomplished. Now I will say, be safe. And the next time I see you, I'm going to be talking to you about Boom Cards with Seesaw.